Hello everyone, I'm Grim Chorizo, and this is Ringside Predictions, where I give you my predictions for upcoming WWE pay-per-views. Today we're talking about NXT TakeOver Chicago and Money in the Bank. So NXT TakeOver Chicago, we got Ricochet vs. Velveteen Dream. Uh, both of these guys are incredible. This match should be amazing. I'd like to see both of them win, but I'm going to go with Ricochet. Shayna Baszler defending the NXT Women's Championship against Nikki Cross. I'm going to go with Shayna Baszler. Uh, she won the title at the last takeover. Uh, and I just, I love Nikki Cross, but I don't see her winning the title here. I honestly think she's going to lose, and then she's going to go up to the main roster with the rest of Sanity, who haven't debuted yet. There has to be some reason why they haven't shown up yet. Maybe it's because they were waiting for Nikki Cross, and they just wanted to have her uh, do one last NXT takeover match. I don't know, but I think that Shayna Baszler retains. The Undisputed Era, Roderick Strong and Kyla Riley defending the NXT Tag Team titles against Oni Lorcan and Danny Burch. Uh, pretty cool to see these guys getting a shot. They've been a team uh, for not super long, but they've both been in NXT uh, appearing quite a while, usually losing. They're very good, but I don't think they're going to win here. I think that the Undisputed Era retain the tag titles. Johnny Gargano vs. Tommaso Ciampa in a street fight. Last time they had an amazing match at the last takeover. Uh, this will be no different. Gargano won the last one. I think Champ is going to win this one. Uh, I really hope that they don't have like Candice LeRae turn on Johnny Gargano because that would be dumb and completely unrealistic. And the main event, Aleister Black defending the NXT Championship against Lars Sullivan. I think Lars Sullivan has really impressed me, uh, but I don't think he's going to win the NXT title here. I think that Aleister Black retains uh, these... Two are probably two of my favorites in NXT, so it should be a pretty awesome match to see. Moving over to Money in the Bank, the Bludgeon Brothers defending the SmackDown Tag Team titles against Gallows and Anderson. Wow, uh, Bludgeon Brothers really haven't done much of anything since becoming Tag Team Champions. Uh, but here they are, they're defending the titles against Gallows and Anderson. I think Bludgeon Brothers retain, and hopefully they actually do something more with them. Sami Zayn versus Bobby Lashley. Oh my god. This feud has been horrendous. Some of the stuff they've done has just been so bad. I think Bobby Lashley wins, and hopefully that's the end of it. Big Cass versus Daniel Bryan. I'd like to say Bryan, but I think Cass is going to win. I picked Cass for the last pay-per-view, and Bryan ended up winning. Um, but I, I don't think he's going to win again. That would be awesome if he did, but I'm going to go with Cass. Roman Reigns versus Jinder Mahal. Oh, God, this is like the worst possible match they could ever put together. Roman Reigns wins. Duh. Carmella vs. Asuka for the SmackDown Women's Championship. I think somehow Carmella's going to retain here. It's not going to be clean. Nia Jax vs. Ronda Rousey for the Raw Women's Championship. It's Ronda's first singles WWE match. She was very, very impressive at WrestleMania in the mixed tag. Uh, I think she's probably going to be impressive in this. I think she's going to win the title. I don't think they're going to have her lose her first singles match. Seth Rollins vs. Elias for the Intercontinental Championship. These two look like almost exactly the same, so does it really matter? No, I think uh, Seth Rollins retains. I do like Elias, but Rollins is on another level, and he should keep that Intercontinental Championship, unless he's going to be winning the Universal title, which I don't see happening. AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura for the WWE Championship. Uh, this feud's gone on for quite a while, but I think it's going to uh, continue with Shinsuke Nakamura winning the championship here and probably having another match at the next pay-per-view. The women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Let's see, we got Ember Moon versus Alexa Bliss versus Charlotte Flair versus Becky Lynch versus Natalya versus Lana versus Naomi versus Sasha Banks. I'm going to go with Natalya, mainly because the story they're doing is her and Ronda Rousey are good friends. I think Natalya will win and will cash in on Ronda. I don't know if it'll happen at Money in the Bank, but it, I think that it'll happen eventually. And the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. Samoa Joe versus Ben Balor versus Braun Strowman versus Bobby Roode versus The Miz versus The New Day. Uh, they haven't decided which one it's going to be. I think it'll probably be Big E of the three of them uh, versus Kevin Owens versus Rusev. I'm really looking forward to this match. I could see a lot of people winning this. I could see Joe winning it. I could see Braun winning it. I could see Rusev winning it. Um, but I'm going to go with The Miz. He's won it before, but I think... Here's what I think is going to happen. Miz will win. Brian will eventually beat Nakamura for the WWE title, and The Miz will cash in on Brian later this year. I think it really, really continues that uh, Miz and Brian story and puts a title in it, and maybe it'll even be around WrestleMania. This is also kind of what I'm hoping for, which doesn't always mean it will come true. But I think The Miz wins his second Money in the Bank ladder match. So those are my predictions for NXT TakeOver and Money in the Bank. 
I think they'll probably be uh, pretty good shows based around their cards, but the last pay-per-view backlash was just so bad. Like, so bad. So, hopefully this is nowhere near as bad as that. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. See you later.